Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick coming to you from Fort Wayne, the scene this week of Engage Northeast Indiana, the latest in a series of events put on by IBJ Media, Inside Indiana Business and the Indiana Economic Development Corporation, focusing on key issues driving regional economies around the state. More than 300 people filled the Grand Wayne Center in downtown Fort Wayne for an event that included a keynote from Secretary of Commerce Brad Chambers and really robust discussion on an economy on the move, fueled by more than $1 billion of investment in downtown Fort Wayne. Star Financial is building its new corporate headquarters here. There are new restaurants and retail offerings, including a Ruth's Chris and the $230 million plus first phase of the Electric Works project, all bolstering the big goal of increasing the regional population to 1 million residents by 2030. Secretary of Commerce Brad Chambers believes Northeast Indiana is poised for more growth. Fort Wayne as a community has really come together. They've been super focused as a community. They've come together a decade or more ago and it is paying off big time now. The momentum up here is incredible. Fastest growing community in the Great Lakes region, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Most educated community in the country or one of the most. Um, great place for retirees, low, low housing prices, their GDP is growing. This community has, has really worked hard and it is, it is showing up. Do It Best, the $4 billion hardware co-op, picked the Electric Works project as the site for its new global headquarters. CEO Dan Starr tells me the outlook for Northeast Indiana helped him sell the idea to his board of directors. You look at the economic activity and growth, in Northeast Indiana, and that's not just this last year, the last decade, uh, it just is a vibrant uh, community with a lot of growth potential and business movement. And so it's an attractor of, of people, of companies, and that that is something that is also easy to sell to someone who is just looking at it as a business transaction. I, I have an emotional connection to Northeast Indiana uh, but these are folks who are just evaluating it on sort of the cold, the cold truth of what does that look like and, and why is this community better than, say, relocating to another state that also has a growing population. But there are challenges in Northeast Indiana, among them educational attainment, early childhood education, and affordable housing, an issue that uh, really has come to the forefront throughout the state of Indiana. The affordability gap on housing is, is, a, is a key issue. Uh, when you look at some of our smaller communities, and Stefan can talk a little bit more about this, the, just the, the, the number of units available. Uh, when you look at the aging population and not having people leave their homes and having turnover, uh, there's a challenge in workforce housing in a lot of our smaller communities. I think the READY program is something that has, has been a piece of that, and the Northeast Indiana RDA has awarded a, a couple of uh, uh, awards to some regional, regional housing initiatives up in LaGrange County and Huntington County.